Hello and welcome into an indie delight. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey today. This is a series where we feature and play through one free indie game in the hopes that you will also go check them out. And today I'm excited to show you another of NPC Casey's games called Space Frog, where this time we are a frog in space. And what we have to do is choose our own adventure. So you and I, let's get right into it. Once upon a time, there was a frog. His name was Space Frog. Space Frog had a little spaceship. It was made just for him. One day, Space Frog decided to go collect a star. Ooh, can we click the star? Oh, not just any star though. He wanted the brightest and sparkliest in the sky. To get a star, Space Frog would need to board his spaceship. However, he could only bring one thing with him in his satchel, since both the ship and his satchel were not very big. Space Frog looked around to see what he could bring. What did he put in his satchel? Space food, empty bottle, froggy bank. Uh, I think maybe to survive around there, I'm gonna go for space food. Yeah. Space Frog put a packet of space food in his satchel. The silver packaging was what made it different from regular food. <laughs> I like that there's like these little green uh, prompts that helped you expand a little bit on what the dialogue is. It's cute. Okay, so we bought our space food with him. Now that Space Frog was ready to go, he got into his spaceship. Then he started the countdown. Three, two, one, blast off. Yes, Space Frog, that's so cute. He's going and he's like, mm. The spaceship flew up, up, and away into the sky. It went over the mountains, past the moon, and farther than most frogs could have ever have dreamed of going. But Space Frog was no ordinary frog, because he was a space frog. On the contrary, his mother told him he was extraordinary. She told him every single day. Aww, so cute! Space Frog peered out into the spaceship window. He knew what he was looking for. He needed to find it. But where should he go? The first planet Space Frog saw was a small one, pale and blue. Did he stop his spaceship? No, I want to see what's out there. No. The second planet Space Frog saw was a big one, bright and red. Ooh, uh, no. The third planet Space Frog saw was a strange one, dark and lonely. No, Space Frog kept flying, but he didn't find any good planets. Where did he steer his ship? Uh, back to the planets. Uh, okay, let's maybe go for the blue one. Um, yes. Space Frog landed his ship on a small planet and stepped out. The blue ground was hard and rocky. It hurt Space Frog's feet. No! Space Frog trekked across the pale blue planet and found a little field of white grass. In the middle of the field, was a sheep. Oh, is that like a little companion? Look at the little sheep in his face. He's like, who are you? Space Frog stared. The sheep stared back. Uh, hello, said Space Frog. I'm looking for a star. Bah, said the sheep. Space Frog did not understand the sheep. If he had only paid attention in sheep class. Is there a way to speak to sheep? <gasps> are like different animal classes? Is it how different animal languages work? Where it's like an animal school. I'm like, pay attention, kids. Now we're going to learn how to speak sheep. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> Space Frog wasn't sure what to do. He didn't speak sheep. Could he communicate with the sheep in some other way? Uh, back. Oh, uh, I'll maybe some, offer some food for you. Space Frog opened the packet of space food. Inside it was a dry block of something that could hardly be called food. But people couldn't be picky about food in space. Are you hungry? Even if Space Frog didn't know how to speak sheep, he knew that everyone liked to eat. And he was right. The sheep only took one look at the space food before eating it whole, wrapper and all. No, he was really hungry. Space Frog gasped. Oh, you can't eat the wrapper, it's not food. But the damage was done. The sheep had already finished eating. Then Space Frog heard a flop. Oh no! Space Frog squinted. On the grass behind the sheep, he could see something sparkly. A big bright star. Is is this for me? Space Frog asked the sheep. Bah, said the sheep. It sounded like a yes to Space Frog. Thank you, replied Space Frog. But the sheep had already trotted away. He's like, yep, I'm done eating now. Here's a star that I may or may not have pooped out. <laughs> that was cute. I mean, you know, he gave him something. He was helpful. Space Frog managed to stuff the big star into his satchel. It made for a tight fit inside his little spaceship, but he steered his ship back down to Earth. After he landed, Space Frog did not go home. No, he had somewhere else to go first. He checked that the star was safely in his satchel, and then he headed not for his house, but the one next door. Space Frog rang the doorbell. He didn't have to wait long before his best friend, Earth Cat, answered the door. <gasps> Earth Cat. Okay. His name was actually Jay. Nobody called him Earth Cat, but Space Frog. <laughs> What's our name then, other than Space Frog? Hey, Space Frog. Sorry, I have to work today, so I can't play with you, said Earth Cat with a frown. Space Frog shook his head. It's okay. I'm just here to give you something. Earth Cat looked confused. For me? It's not my birthday or anything, though. <gasps> 
It's just a friend. We can give gifts to friends. Space Frog took the star out of his satchel. It glowed bright in his hands. I know you've been working late in the night recently, so I wanted to get you a star for light. <gasps> Space Frog! For a moment, Earth Cat didn't say anything. Then he gave Space Frog a hug. Oh! Thank you, Space Frog. That's very kind of you. Earth Cat took the star with a smile. Space Frog smiled back. No problem, Earth Cat. <laughs> it's so warming. Space Frog gave Earth Cat a wave before heading back home. After Space Frog got back, he put away his satchel and lied back down in bed. It had been a good day. He had gone to space and found a bright, sparkly star and met up with his friend Earth Cat. I hope Earth Cat will have some time to play with me soon. Space Frog closed his eyes and dreamt of fun adventures he and Earth Cat could have tomorrow. The end. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of An Indie Delight. Your company is always a joy to have. Today we looked at NPC Casey's Space Frog, and that was a joy to play through because it was a story about a frog who just wanted to find a starlight for his friend while he works at night. It was so cute and wholesome. I also like the fact that there was like these little green texts that you can expand upon information of what was happening in the scene, or like these little insider information bits. It was really, really cute, and I like that. Um, if you would like to play this game for yourself and see the other ways a space frog gains a star, you can check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Until the next Indie Delight, always take care. Bye.